Anirahim. Quote of the day is Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. Uh, today, the topic of my presentation is quality of health care and frameworks for assurance of quality. And I'm presenting it under the supervision of Professor Dr. Saira Afsa. Learning outlines. Learning outlines of the presentation are dimensions of healthcare quality, quality management and planning, quality assurance, quality improvement, frameworks for quality assurance, frameworks for quality improvement, and recent updates. Learning outcomes are at the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe dimensions of healthcare quality, uh, components of quality management, and models of uh, quality assurance and quality improvement. Healthcare quality. It is defined as the degree to which healthcare services for individuals and populations increase the likelihood of desired health outcome and are consistent with current professional knowledge. Dimensions of a uh, healthcare quality. This picture shows dimensions that uh, these all are safe, equitable, timely, effective, efficient, and patient-centered. Uh, amongst these, uh, safe means avoiding harm to patient from care intended to help them. Equitable is provide uh, care that does not uh, vary in uh, quality because of gender, ethnicity, geography, or socioeconomic status. Uh, timely means that re reducing weight and sometimes harmful delays so that those uh, who receive can give care. Uh, effective means that all uh, those who are receiving services should be uh, scientifically effective. Uh, efficient is that it avoid waste of equipment, supplies, ideas, and energy. Uh, and it should be patient-centered. Uh, health quality uh, care can be defined in many ways, but there is uh, growing knowledge. And uh, health care services should be effective, safe, patient-centered. And to uh, realize benefits of quality health care, health care services must be uh, timely, equitable, efficient, and integrated. Now, what is integrated? Integrated is providing care that makes available the full range of health services throughout the life course. Uh, equitable is providing care that does not vary in quality on account of gender, ethnicity, geographic location, and socioeconomic status. Patient-centered is providing care that responds to individual preferences such as needs and values. Uh, quality management. Quality management is the act of overseeing all activities and tasks um, that must be accomplished to maintain a desired level of excellence. This includes the determination of a quality policy, creating and implementing quality, planning and assurance, and quality control and quality improvement. And now what is uh, total quality management? But uh, a core definition of the total quality management describes a management approach to long-term success through the customer satisfaction. In the total quality management effort, all members of an organization uh, participates in improving processes, products, service, and the culture in which they work. Uh, the principles of total quality management. First is customer focus. Total quality management's first and foremost pillars of success is an uh, unwavering focus on the customer's experience in all interactions with the organization. Uh, from the first contact through uh, purchase and continued support, the customer should always be the main priority. Uh, second is employee ownership. Total quality management requires the improved uh, involvement of every team member to ensure that the complete quality control is offered at every level. Total quality management does not focus on a single department because the goal is to provide customers with a great experience from every level of organization. Third is process-based. Uh, total quality management focuses on the cre uh, creation and implementation of the processes that provides organizations with the ability to find success and repeat it. Uh, Quantifying success and defining the steps taken to get there uh, are essentials for successful implementation of total quality management. Uh, system integration. Total quality uh, management strategies revolve around uh, leveraging every asset available to the company. 
this is best achieved through system integration that combines uh, disparate parts of the organization into a well oiled machine working in a complete synergy uh, uh fifth is communication total quality management requires every team member to be at their best and to function as a value adding member of the team this means communication and transparency is a core uh, tenet of the successful total quality management practice uh, data driven total quality management does not employ uh, guest work instead data is leveraged for the improvements of the organization and decisions are made based on quantifiable facts constant improvement total quality management isn't a, a one and done process perfection is impossible so it must always be pursued to get the organization as close as possible to it now components of quality management there are four basic components quality planning quality control quality assurance and quality improvement all these points are discussed in detail in next slides now what is quality planning uh the role of quality planning is to design a process uh, that will be able to meet established goals under operating conditions quality planning is a methodology which can be used when a situation exhibits one or more of the following characteristics uh first is a service is never existed before second customer requirements are not known third is the existing uh, services or the process performance is not capable of meeting customer requirements uh, the service process is uh, ad hoc extremely variable never been uh, well defined or worked on before as a whole the environment is unstable characterized by major market technology or organizational change uh, performance data does not exist or it would require excessive time expense to collect data uh, quality planning cycle four basic uh, things are involved in quality planning cycle first is design and plot service process uh, second is the monitor impact results of services uh, and there is take action and uh, define opportunity and stakeholder needs all these points are interconnected and uh, lead to each other in a successful way quality control quality control can be defined as a part of quality management focused on fulfilling quality requirements uh, an alternate definition is the operational techniques and activities that are used to fulfill requirements for quality uh, it is the system of maintaining standards in manufactured products or uh, uh, services by testing a sample of the output against the specification quality of good or service uh, produced are measured using tools such as auditing and inspection uh, in project management quality control requires the project manager or uh, the project team to inspect the accomplished work to ensure its alignment with the project scope uh, in practice projects typically have a dedicated quality control team which focuses on this area Uh, quality assurance quality assurance can be defined as part of the quality management focused on providing confidence that quality requirement will be fulfilled uh, the confidence provided by the quality assurance is twofold uh, internally to management and externally to customers government agencies regulators uh, certifiers and third parties quality improvement the combined and uh, unceasing effort of everyone to make the changes that will lead to better patient outcome health better system performance that is care and better uh, professional development that is learning uh, this may be done with the noticeable significant changes or incrementally via uh, continual improvement uh, in health care quality improvement is the framework we use to uh, systematically improve the way care is delivered to patients purpose of quality assurance to meet the rising expectations of the consumers of quality of services uh, help patients by improving quality of care assess competence of uh, medical staff serves as an uh, impetus to keep up to date and prevent future mistakes bring to notice uh, of hospital administration about the deficiencies 
and uh, in correcting the positive factors help exercise a regulatory function uh, restricting undesirable procedures eliminating medical error adverse drug events uh, components of quality assurance strategic organizational level uh, tactical or functional level and operational level at the organizational level it deals with the quality policy objectives and management usually uh, produced as quality manual on functional level deals with general practices such as training facilities and equipment and at operational level it deals with standard operating procedures and day to day operation this slide shows a comparison among the quality assurance and quality uh, control that quality assurance is a managing tool it is a uh, process oriented it is proactive strategy uh, it uh, helps in the prevention of defects it everyone's responsibility and it is performed in a parallel with the project while quality control is a corrective tool it is uh, also product oriented and uh, but it has a reactive strategy uh, it uh, helps in the detection of defects it uh, uh, is testing team's responsibility and is performed after the final product is ready uh, this slide shows examples of differences among the quality assurance process and quality control procedure that it deals with the documentation audit supplier management personal training investigation procedure and change control while uh, quality control is associated with batch inspection product sampling validation testing and laboratory testing uh quality assurance and quality control are closely related concepts and are both aspects of quality management but are fundamentally different in their focus uh quality control is used to verify the quality of output and quality assurance is the process of managing for quality approaches of quality assurance program two approaches are used general approach and specific approach general approach involves a large uh, governing or official bodies uh, evaluation of a person or agency to meet established criteria or standard at a given time uh, licensure accreditation certification and accreditation a specific approach is peer review uh, standard as a device for quality assurance and audit as a tool for quality assurance now first is uh, uh, credentially process by which eligibility of an entity for a particular job or task is established by determining if the entity has the specified uh, qualifications and fulfills the defined requirement uh, for example uh, it uh, is the licensing of medical providers like physician nurse and practitioners licensure is the individual licensure is the contract between the profession and the state in which the profession is granted uh, a control call, uh, granted control over entry into and exit from the uh, profession and over quality of professional practice for example uh, medical and legal practices accreditation accreditation is the process of formally obtaining a uh, credibility from authorized bodies such as the international organization from standardization joint commission international etc a uh, certification is usually a voluntary process within the profession a person's education experience and performance or examination are used to, to determine the person's qualification for functioning in an identified specialty area areas of quality assurance these are all uh, outpatient department emergency medical services inpatient services specialty services and training factors affecting quality assurance in healthcare multiple factors are there first is the lack of resources personal problems improper ma uh, maintenance unreasonable patients and attendants lack of incident reports absence of laws uh, absence of a uh, well informed population lack of medical reports and uh, so on now frameworks or models for quality assurance first is a uh, donabedians model donabedians model uh, is to analyze quality uh, includes three factors structure process and outcome structure refers to prerequisites such as hospital uh, building staff and equipment 
process describes how structure is put into practice, such as specific therapy. Outcome refers to results of processes, for instance, result of therapy. Uh, this is the ANA model of quality assurance. It identifies values, identifies standard criteria, secure uh, measurement, make interpretation, identifies possible course of action, uh, choose appropriate course of action, take action and re-evaluation, and the cycle continues. Uh, the deeming cycle is a continuous uh, quality improvement model, which consists of logical uh, sequence of four keys that are plan, do, study, and act. What changes uh, can we make that will result in improvement? How will we know that a change is an improvement? Uh, are the fundamental questions that are uh, used in this gaming cycle. Now, plan is the uh, quality principle. Do is the, the uh, policies and procedures. Check is to uh, error uh, checking. And act is review, revise, and communicate type process. Four steps are a plan is an analysis that establishes the objectives or the expected results and creates a plan of action. By starting with the objective or desired results, each step of the process can be included in the analysis and in the solution. Do is implementation of the plan. Check is measurement of the objectives to see how closely they meet expectations. This is an important step as it allows for the adjustment of the plan as needed and act is the implementation of the changes. Models of quality improvement. Uh, aim of uh, these models is uh, to determine which specific outcome you're trying to change and measure is identify appropriate measure to track your success. What are we trying to accomplish? How will we know that a change is an improvement and what change will uh, make that will result in an improvement. All these are the questions that are uh, commonly asked in Deming cycle. Uh, focused PDCA is uh, a strategy that provides a roadmap for continuous process improvement when linked to the quality definition. Uh, focused is an improvement uh, methodology to guide the improvement effort. It is simply a nine step process guide to quality improvement. Another cycle is used, it is the Schubert cycle. That is find a process to improve, organize, clarify, understand, and select. Recent updates. About 5 to uh, 5.7 to 8.4 million deaths per year are due to poor quality care in low and middle income countries and up to 15% of death overall. 1.4 to 1.6 trillion dollars are lost in productivity each year due to inadequate quality of care in low and middle income countries. One in three people report negative experience of their health system, such as disrespectful care, a short consultation and long waiting time. Key facts are that the substantial development goals stress that the quality is a key element of universal health coverage. A uh, sustainable development goal target 3.8 falls on the countries to achieve this, uh, including financial risk protection alongside access to quality essential healthcare services. Between 5.7 and 8.4 million deaths are attributed to poor quality care in each uh, lower and middle income countries, which represent up to 15% of the overall death in these countries. 60% death in the lower uh, and middle income countries from conditions that require health care occur due to poor quality care. And the inadequate quality of care imposes cost of about US dollar 1.4 to 1.6 trillion each year and a loss to productivity. In high income countries, one in 10 patient is harmed while receiving uh, hospital care and seven in every 100 hospitalized patient can expect to acquire a health care associated. Uh, globally, the essential structure for achieving uh, quality care are inadequate. One in eight uh, healthcare facilities has no water service, one in five has no sanitation service, and one in six has no hand hygiene facility at the point of care. An estimated uh, uh, 1.8 billion people, or 24% of the world's population, live in fragile contexts 
that are challenged in delivering quality essential health services. A large population of the preventable maternal childhood and neonatal deaths occur in these settings. The uh, universal health care coverage and quality care a global commitment. The UN political declaration uh, adopted by the world leader in September 2019 reaffirmed the commitment to progressively uh, cover 1 million additional people by 2023 with the quality essential health care services with the view to cover all the world's people by 2030. Another article published is the use of uh, Donabadian's model as a framework for COVID-19 response at a hospital in a suburban hospital in a New York. It's a case uh, facility level case report. This uh, article shows the, that using this uh, model as a guide both structure and process changes are implemented to maintain high quality clinical outcome as well as the staff safety and engagement. Rapid changes due to model of care both for RT trajectory and through the expansion of universal precaution through personal protective equipment created uh, the foundation for what was to follow. Coming towards the MCQs. First MCQ is a product uh, ABC is having great profit in market because its production is regulated and checked routine. A collection of strategies, uh, techniques, and actions taken by an organization to assure themselves that they are producing a quality product is called, option A is quality control, option B is quality assurance, option C is quality improvement, and option D is quality assessment. B. B. A. Option A is the right one. Quality control is this process. Uh, quality management is the act of overseeing all activities and tasks that must be accomplished to maintain a desired level of excellence. Healthcare quality defines that an attribute of uh, which care should be based on individual needs. Option A is advanced care. Option B is evidence-based care. Option C is patient-centered care. And option D is modern care. B, evidence-based care. Option uh, C is the right one, patient-centered care. Uh, third MCQ is quality of health care is the degree to which health care services for individuals and populations increase the likelihood of desired health outcome. Quality care often means uh, which of the following care for patients. Option A is superior care, option B is advanced care, option C is safer care, and option D is costly care. C, B, advanced. Yes, C is the right answer. Safer care is the right. Fourth MCQ is the systematic activities and planned activities which provide adequate confidence that the manufactured products are meeting the requirement is called as Option A is quality assurance, B quality control, C is inspection, and D is assessment. A, A. Yes, A is the right answer, quality assurance. Fifth MCQ is which of the following is not one of the fundamental questions to be asked in a demic cycle methodology? Option A is what we are trying to accomplish. Option B is who are the processes, owners of the quality initiative, Option C, what changes can we make that will result in improvement? And option D, how will we know that a change is an improvement? B. Yes, B is the right answer. Sixth MCQ is in town A, uh, the health care was provided to the resident with the uh, quality not varying due to their socioeconomic status. Which of the following dimensions of health care quality is highlighted here? Option A is efficiency, option B is effectivity, uh, option C is equity, and option D efficacy. C, equity. Yes, C is the right one. Seventh MCQ is which of the following is associated with the uh, developing the process that are needed to deliver a quality product? or uh, services complying with the customer need. Uh, 
ऑप्शन ए इज क्वालिटी प्लानिंग बी इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल ऑप्शन सी इज क्वालिटी इम्प्रूवमेंट और ऑप्शन डी इज क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस ऑप्शन Yes, A is the right answer. Planning is the uh, ninth MCQ. Is quality control comprises uh, of the operational techniques and activities for maintaining standards in manufactured products or services by testing a sample of the output against specification. Which of the following is not true about quality control? Option A is corrective tool. Option B is process oriented. Uh, option C is reactive strategy and option D is testing team's responsibility. B process oriented. B. Yes, B is the right answer. Process orientation. Tenth MCQ is quality assurance consists of all the planned and systematic activities implemented within the quality system. to provide confidence that a product or service will fulfill requirement uh, for quality which of the following is not an example of quality assurance option a is documentation option b is laboratory testing option c personal training and option d investigation procedure lab testing a uh, b is the right answer laboratory testing is not included This is the key, and thank you. Ah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Esma. Very nice presentation, especially.